whenever I meet my clients, I will try to help them face this um, big R word, retirement. When we retire, we still want to maintain a certain level of quality of life past the age of 65. I feel sad when I see very old people working very hard and they are working to make sure that they live every day. People in general, they are confused, they are anxious, they are avoiding this topic. I try to instill some form of dream in them for them to expect more from life and if they have nothing to look forward to, I don't think they will be even interested to take the first step, you know, to start financial planning. What will happen in Singapore context currently right now? a lot of sandwich generation is ongoing, which is also the main reason why we are here to actually plan ahead, not just for yourself, but also for the next generation down the road as well. A lot of different clients, they don't actively look towards, you know, planning for their retirement because they're so busy with work. So they actually just chuck that one side. Some may even think that they have sufficient, but if you really look at it, it's not sufficient for them to actually move on with that. That gives me an edge to really tell them why is it so important to start planning today? I believe the main concern for Singaporeans will be aging population. So a lot of elder folks, they do not really have the knowledge to, to prepare themselves for a retirement journey. As a wealth planning manager, so me and my team, I feel that this is our responsibility. They know that, okay, I have CPF every month, you know, that contributes to this retirement fund, which most of them actually don't know that it is not enough. As a wealth planning manager, it's actually our job to enhance their retirement journey. With internet these days, uh, you can see like there's tons of things out there telling about retirement, but there's no human connection. So that's where we come in to help them uh, to really you know, build that, that bridge in between to fill up the gap. Once I actually get to meet the client in, in person, they actually open up to me and they tell me, oh, this is something they want, this is something that they need. By the end of their session, I hope that they are working towards uh, a goal instead of being so lost and confused. Helping them achieve that uh, really makes me happy, yeah. Some people, they're really risk averse and they're like, hey, I don't want to do any investments. And some people on the other side of the spectrum, they're like, ah, I want to put as much of my free cash flow into investments. Ideally, I try to get a sense of their mentality and their risk profile and I try to guide them for, you know, their retirement. I feel very satisfied to give them a lesser emotional stress to live confidently. I think most definitely with empathy, that's the first touch to understanding someone else's life. To do well in this job is to really, really connect with other people. You need to deeply listen to someone else and from listening, you're able to hear them and you're able to truly understand them. I'm very, I would say, shy. People think that you have to be like a, be outgoing, uh, jovial, but it all comes down to your heart. La. Whenever they meet an issue, right, they will call me and I will always be there. It's more about us sincerely caring and wanting to know more about our clients and to help them. It is important to listen and to understand more whether this is really suitable for them or not. My own mom herself, she Actually, she's in her early 50s, but she has already semi-retired because she has a lot of annuities that she bought when she was younger. She's able to semi-retire in a sense that she knows that her financial future is secured. When I hold her in my thoughts, um, it's really easy for me to be able to better connect with my clients and I would like to see them secure their financial future as well. My parents don't have a very good knowledge of how retirement should be like when I speak to people. It's like educating my parents what retirement should be like. Being interested in this role comes with a huge responsibility. So if anything like were to happen to them, I will make sure that they are actually protected in the sense in the, in the form of their finances. One of my clients, her husband actually passed away and I was also uh, really glad that I could really help her okay, to uh, achieve some sort of financial protection. So uh, I helped her to actually pay off her mortgage. She was, I would say, very thankful. Lah. It can also help her as a first step la, to planning her retirement. I met up with not a very easy customer, so he is quite sceptical about financial planning and all. At times, he will come to me to print financial statements, and I will do it for him as a service. Through the statements I was printing out for him, we went through on his expenses. We sat down and have financial needs analysis. Eventually, we come to one of the solutions that is beneficial for him to help in his retirement. 
when we come together in the office, right, then we share about our different customer experiences. That's when we can inspire each other to go about to share with our customers. So we can actually make use of these experiences and stories to actually inspire the bigger community out there. I would say the impact that we actually make on the different generations in Singapore is big. We do have the power to change people's lives in like 10, 20, 30 years ahead from now. Definitely we are actually going to make Singapore a different place in one or two decades down the road.